Thank you, Chairman. Um, I would like to ask the uh, Commission to what extent they have studied the real impact of the Geneva Agreement on producers in the ACP countries, particularly in the small, the small producers, and um, how they justify the fact that this agreement, in fact, gives massively greater power in the banana market to the major uh, banana producing corporations and in, in, including the, some of the major United States based companies which are, uh, are household names. And has the Commission really studied the, the real impact of, of this on the other countries, uh, submitting that um, you know, subsidies are not really a substitute for a decent and proper um, uh, conditions in regard to labor rights and human rights and environmental protection being factored into uh, banana production for the, the, the fruit that would finish up uh, in the, uh, in, in the uh, European Union. And I want to know if, if, the, uh, if the Commission has uh, studied the amount of dislocation that will take place for many uh, small producers. And the second issue, Chairman, is um, in regard to now the, 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 there are two or three different standards and conditions for the importation of bananas into the European Union. <coughs> How does the Commission justify the fact that Colombia is now the country that has the extremely favorable uh, um, conditions vis-à-vis uh, -vis those governed by the most uh, recent uh, uh, agreement. A country, as we know, where uh, trade union rights and the position of workers is uh, uh, extremely difficult, including as a result of, uh, of latifundistas, uh, uh, major landowners, etc., who will now benefit from this uh, kind of uh, trade. And just lastly, uh, uh, Chairman, because it's never been explained by uh, the Commissioner when he was asked uh, properly, with regard to the position of the Honduras government in these negotiations, why the Commission was able to turn a blind eye to the nature of that uh, government, the fact that it was the product of a coup, that what is there now is still the product of a coup in reality, uh, attempted to be legitimized by a stitched up uh, election process. Isn't that surely in uh, opposition to the idea of coherence between the EU claiming to stand for democracy and, and, and so forth and then dealing in this way with uh, a, a, a government that is there by legitimate means? Thank you. <coughs>